Hello, I'm Dick Schmalensee. I teach at MIT and I'm a director here at Global Econ. I want to say a few words about some novel language that appeared in the latest version of the horizontal merger guidelines. The guidelines say, in some cases, the agencies assess the value of diverted sales, which can serve as an indicator of the upward pricing pressure resulting from the merger. What's the value of diverted sales? What's upward pricing pressure? And why, as the guidelines go on to say, is this a, an indicator that's useful when products are differentiated? Well, recall the Whole Foods Wild Oats merger. In that case, the outcome turned importantly on the question of whether natural organic food stores like Whole Foods and Wild Oats were a market unto themselves or whether they competed in the same market with other supermarkets. If the market included all supermarkets, the merger had a tiny effect on concentration. If it was confined to organic natural food stores, it, the merger was a big deal. What was the right answer? Well, it, it isn't right in a case like that to draw sharp artificial boundaries. The two categories competed. Were they perfect substitutes? No. Were they not substitutes at all? No. They were imperfect substitutes. So drawing a sharp boundary is not the right answer. The approach that the uh, agencies now are following to an important extent is to look at the impact of the merger on prices. There are two effects. One, if there are efficiencies, prices can go down. But second, the incentives for pricing change. And that's what the value of diverted sales and upward pricing pressure are all about. Suppose firms one and two merge. Before the merger, if firm one raises its price, it loses a certain amount of sales, and that's the end of it. After the merger, if firm one raises its price, some of those sales go to firm two. That's what this term, the diversion ratio measures. That's the fraction of firm one's sales lost due to a price increase that go to firm two. Well, that changes the incentives to raise price of firm one because th those diverted sales are worth something to the merged firm. What are they worth? They're worth, each one is worth the difference between price and marginal cost. So the product, the fraction of sales that are diverted from firm one to firm two times the markup on those sales is the value of diverted sales or upward pricing pressure. That's an indicator that the agencies look at. It, it uh, measures the merger's effect on uh, the incentive to raise price. Doesn't tell you how much prices would increase. Doesn't tell you how large a volume of commerce would be affected. But it, it is a more useful tool in many cases than the traditional market definition, market share approach. Thank you.